Never judge someone based upon their past, but always discern their present. We live in a day and age which is a sad reality, but nonetheless it is true, where people find the fact that a discerning mind is able to understand certain things that someone else may not be aware of or be able to see, people automatically deem that as being judgmental and therefore uh, the labels come. It could be bigot, it could be you know, a blankophobe, it could be you're being very judgmental, it could be only God can judge me in phraseology uh, of what they say. It could be a variety of things. And what we're supposed to do as born-again believers, we know we are not supposed to judge in the sense of uh, comparing ourselves. We know that, uh, you know, we're, we should not judge lest we be judged in likewise fashion um, by other people and, and by God, ultimately. We need to know that we are not the ultimate judge, but God is the ultimate righteous judge. We, we know these things from J the book of James and from Jesus Christ, but we also know Jesus said, to judge with right and righteous judgment. And how do we judge with righteous judgment? We judge based upon the word of God. And when we do this, we judge not in the standpoint of actual judgment, but in the form of discerning. And many of us can get caught up with people's past that we are not looking at their present. Many people can say, oh, they were uh, guilty of this and that. They had a bad reputation doing this. But God is the one who can transform anyone in any heinous, wicked, evil lifestyle. God can transform that person into a righteous saint. And we become born again when we believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and we repent of our sins. And when this occurs, we can have radical transformations, such as Saul to Paul. And speaking of Paul, we know that he had also said that it is not those outside the church who are, we are to judge, but those inside the church. And so we can come to understand this in, in the sense of we don't need to judge people's past. We don't need to be concerned with what they have done. But we need to discern what they are currently doing. If someone was sexually immoral and very sexually active in the past, if they were a liar and a cheat in the past, if the, all they cared about was money and using people as means in the past, we need to discern, is this happening now? And we need to just take time to give them the benefit of the doubt. We know the heart is deceitful above all things. We know that internally man uh, seeks out uh, many schemes that are apart from God's original plan. But at the same time, we want to give people the benefit of the doubt and seek to find the good within them because we want to love others as we love ourselves. We want to love other people for whom they are made in the image of because they are made in the image of God. And when we do this and when we come from it with that standpoint, we obviously are reflecting upon wanting to treat people well and respectfully, but this doesn't mean we need to negate the reality and the call to be able to discern what is going on within the present. Because a person's past must never dictate their present, and a person's uh, present should give us discernment as to the future days of what they are becoming. Because if someone, for example, all they do after work is watch TV and neglect their family, well, we need to discern that and say this person is slothful, they don't care about other people really, they just are roommates, so to speak, in their house, and they are living for themselves. And uh, we just need to make sure that we are discerning people's present, but we are not judging people from their past based upon the things that maybe we have heard and rumors that have been gathered and the like. So may we not judge people based upon what they have done, what we know they have done, the evil, the sin, the selfishness, uh, the sexual immorality, the drunkenness, all of that. But may we discern their present. And if they are no longer participating in these things, glory be to God. And we know that only true and everlasting transformation and change that can, uh, that is being, uh, a person is being sanctified and drifting from the old nature, that can only happen by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so when we discern someone's present, if they fall, they have a mishappening, they end up sinning, but they, they're willing to admit that, they're willing to uh, confess their sins to their, their family, their friends, and they, they just desire God, may we discern that that is tr truly the heart of that person and they are desiring to walk with the Lord. And may we not be judgmental with that when they fall because equally we know that we fall either in action, word, thought, whatever it may be each and every day. But what God looks at is the heart. And if the heart is truly desiring God, 
and there are stumbles along the way, and there's confession and repentance after those stumbles, we can be well assured that by discerning their presence, they truly are desiring the things of God. So may we never judge the past of others because we all have a past, but may we discern the present of all people in order that we may not be misguided, misled, misdirected, deceived, or anything of the sort because we want to be able to be people who have Holy Ghost discernment.